and we're back to another episode of From Hannah's Another Minecraft Guy with me, your host, Manana. I mean, from Hannah. You know what? I was looking over this land. I've been thinking. You know what I've been thinking? I've been missing something romantic, something where you you could take a hot date to. You know, I mean, I mean, out of the way. Who wouldn't want to date this? So, I mean, look at this. Doesn't this just scream romanticness? Look at it. I got a flower right here. We're going to build us a new farm. We're going to build us a cow crusher <laughs> and an automatic chicken cooker, my bobber, right here. Romantic restaurant style place. Now, I'm always thinking if I ever go to the mountains or if I'm in the mountains and I'm in this small little village, there's two things. There's usually always two things. There's some sort of old fashioned mill that is now turned into a restaurant or there's a giant fireplace restaurant type place. So we're just going to combine the two. It's going to be a mill fireplace restaurant. So let's go ahead and quit the jibber jabbing. Let's just get right to business. Let's make room for this restaurant. The location has been dug out. Hopefully this is enough area. I measured one time. That's all we need. Always measure once because you can always just control Z whenever. That, that, that goes for every aspect of my life. Control Z anytime. Look at it in all of its glory, magnificence, the wheel, dime, water, and, and bower, bow. And here's the restaurant, fully built up. Ooh, look at that table. And I think it seats two, and it becomes a chair as well. Oh, and let's not forget the kitchen. The kitchen right here, powered by the wheel right here. The smoker. Ah, <sighs> so good. Oh, and the decor. Oh my gosh, the decor. Look at it. And all the decor's glory. Look at it. I'm just kidding. All right, all right. That's enough messing around. Focus. It's like, let's get back to building. <laughs> oh, gravy. I got to figure out this landscape piece. So I'm going to be playing around with this landscape here, raising this up, raising this up, but making sure that it doesn't overtake the fireplace and try to put some sort of lake of some sort. So I'm going to do what I do best to build up nature. We must tear it down first. Tear all the trees down. Oh. So let's go do that. Trees are gone. And yes, I did end up dying <laughs> in the nether, trying to get that gilded black stone. So delicious, so gilded, so stony. Yep, it was a, it was a brute. It was a brute that took me down, very brutish. You know what? 
I, I wasn't recording, but this is how it happened. Right here, right here. There I was. Scared. And in the nether, in the nether. And I, and I was in a bastion. A bastion, yes. Of course, it was a bastion. You know, a hogland, you know, or a, uh, a brute. A brute, brute. So I was trying to save this villager from the bastion. And don't don't you ask how he got there. It's, it, that's not part of the story. It doesn't matter. But, but then... But then there was a brute. There was multiple brutes. There was so many brutes. I couldn't but to save the villager. I couldn't. I couldn't. I, I couldn't do it with all the brutes. And it just. Ah! And, and that's exactly what happens. That's my story. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, I need to focus. Let's get back to voting. Ciao! There's no reason that I'm up in this tree except for peeking down on this delicious looking restaurant, mill, fireplace. Place him a bobber. Focus. Focus! So the outside, mostly done. Little bits and pieces, bits and bobs that need to be done. Let's take a gander, shall we? Let's take a gander indeed. Ooh, let's check out this wonderful water coming down from the hilltop. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me catch up. Camera count. Or whatever it's called. So we have this water pool thing here. I, I I need to mess with this a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just need to mess with it. Uh, but this is pretty much the idea. Water coming down on top of this house here. This water mill spot creating this cozy atmosphere and then the outside decor not too jungly but jungly enough more forest than jungly hopefully let's focus now on the inside that's where the beauty counts isn't it <laughs> i mean i've been told i'm gorgeous on the on the inside uh, focus let's go but first before we do we're gonna need a little help from a redstone there's gonna be a redstone build in here for our chicken mabobber the cow crusher the, cra the cows get crushed naturally through through the through the birthing process. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this settled. But first, we need to make a little bit of a sacrifice. Redstone. Let's go ahead and do that before we mess it all up. The redstone gods become angry. Let's go. Oh, redstone god. I sacrifice this piston. Right? Piston. Yes. Piston. Sacrifice. Yes. May it appease you, sacrifice. Redstone gods, hear me. All right, I'm done. All right. We're going to take a look inside of the basement. Let's see what that looks like. And this is like the underpath underneath the restaurant build here inside and it's Christmas almost Christmas that's pretty cool focus chicken mabobbler chicken mabobbler is still mabobbling any more chickens right so the redstone gods I, I I don't know if it worked or not but we'll, we'll, we'll see we'll see we'll see how this is supposed to work chickens are all shoved up in the box once they get up they once they get enough in there they lay an egg, egg goes down in here, pops out, little baby chicken. Chicken then has a nice toasty spray of lava bucket. And this is all going to be uh, noticed by the noticer, <laughs> observer, and the comparator, comparating, comparating of the compares of the noticing of the comparating, of the comparing, comparing, noticing of the noticing pairs. 
So obviously you can tell I know exactly what I'm talking about. Exactly. But otherwise, inside. <laughs> inside. Like it. I really like the way this kitchen area came out. Um, just a nice, cozy, roomy feel, even though there's a lot of stone in here. But we got like little ingredient pieces everywhere. We got little drink machines, drink machines. And we have the cows who are absolutely loving this. <laughs> so then we have like a little, little secret bed area here and some storage spots. And we feed the cows up. This is pretty easy cow crusher. Got our, some mite in there. And this is pretty much the inside of this room here. Oh, and then we got a melon and a pumpkin thing as well. So we got a little bit of everything in here. Anything to cook up for our guests upstairs. The ritziest, most fanciest restaurant you've ever made your eyes on. Let's take a look. Come on in to the most luxurious restaurant you've ever made your eyes on. Yes. Come on in. The fireplace mill restaurant, cow crusher, chicken mababa restaurant. So elegant. So suave. So <laughs> Take a look inside where you can dine in any of these private booths with your hot, hot date. Or just dine in with the with any, you know somebody here, and then you could be you just sitting sitting in here, just in, in the corner, you know, just perched up, you be perched up, and just just we're lurking in the corner, in the shadows. And I mean, I would no something romantic, no, 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 something romantic. Don't like to sit with the commoners. No, I completely understand that. Want a little VIP action? Then go ahead and sit yourself up in our VIP lounge, and you sit in the VIP area where you feel. Like you're treated like a king. Look down upon the commoners as they sit and eat their grovel. Ugh, disgusting. No, I mean, I, I mean, you know, everybody's treated with class downstairs. VIP not really good enough for you? Yes, we have double VIP. Well, we have our double VIP. You want to talk about things that you can't have other people listen to? Then sit and relax in our double VIP. Yes, it is so private that nobody, not even your server, would know that you're in here. Find yourself in a cozy spot in their restaurant. Have no fear. Our restaurant booths are able to, 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 to house any sort of accommodations. If you find yourself somehow stuck underneath of the booth, uh, maybe the, even, even, even the food on the floor is so fancy and so delicious and so elegant. Even, even I'm enjoying it right now. And that's it. That's all the time we have for this one here. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This took a lot longer than anticipated for this watermill fireplace restaurant, cow crusher, chicken farmer, my baba, doodad, mahoozic place. Thanks again. Keep me focused. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all later. Bye. 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 Bye.